Hey everyone! In this video, I want to start a series called Course Review. When I was in school, or in art school, uh, many years ago, one of the things I wondered was uh, what course was right for me because there are tons of courses that you can take and when you look at the trailers, you're like, wow, this is awesome, I really want to learn all of this. But the problem is when you're a student, you usually don't have a lot of money. So you cannot buy them all. You have to narrow down which courses you want to take. So the goal of this series is to kind of give you a little bit more guidance on to what courses are actually specific for what you want to do for your level and all of that. I want to look at it from the standpoint of a consumer myself because the courses that I'll be reviewing are courses that I've personally taken. And I've also been looking at them from the point of view of someone that also creates tutorials. Let's start with the first course, and it's going to be my favorite course. This is uh, How to Create Stylized PVR Characters for Games. This is created by Mark Burnett. He is an ex-Blizzard artist, and he's also the owner of the, the website Cubebrush. And this is an amazing course. This is actually one of the first paid courses that I ever got. So regarding 3D, of course. <laughs> and I think it was amazing because I've always, one of the, the reasons that I got into uh, 3D art was to get that, was to get into Blizzard. That's always been my dream job. And I've always liked that style, that Overwatch, Starcraft, and Diablo. I, I always liked the Blizzard style. So when I saw that there was a course from somebody that worked at Blizzard, that will teach you how to get the blizzard style i was I, I didn't see the prize actually just went for it and that was one of the best times that i've spent money to be honest um it's it's really good and i'm gonna go through a couple of things and tell you whether this course is right for you back when i purchased this course i was uh, very very beginner like I, I was starting up with all the software and there are things that back then I did not understand quite well that I do understand that did understand a little bit later and I do understand much better now so here's the thing with this course these are the softwares that he uses so he goes through ZBrush Topogon you do not need Topogon exactly for this uh, tutorial. You can use any other retopology software or your 3D package of choice. Uh, you don't need Maya. I'm actually a 3DS Max user. And the way that he goes about uh, talking about Maya and the things that he does in Maya um, are not very specific to Maya. So if you want to do any of those things in another software, you can do it um, actually did the Maya part in 3 Studio Max, so if you're Blender, Moto, uh, you pretty much can just do that. Uh, Substance Painter is a must. Marmoset Toolbag, you can substitute with Sketchfab, with Unreal Engine, with Unity. This is pretty much for presentation. Photoshop, it's also a must because this is what I would call the brunt of the course. Like the best part of this course is the way that he textures. So the way that he initiates the texturing and the diffuse is something that I haven't seen before this course and I was really surprised by the way he does it and it's really cool and once you get it once you practice it a lot and once you um, know that style then you are always going to achieve this kind of like cartoony slash um, realistic kind of character that I think it's really cool um, pretty much most of the art that you'll see in my portfolio um, it's with the techniques he, he teaches on this course, so that's why I recommend it. Now, he doesn't go over every little detail of the software, so if you have not used ZBrush, I would not recommend this course because this course is, uh, first, it's, it's highly dependent on ZBrush and Photoshop, so if you haven't used any of these, uh, I would recommend that you take like an introduction course before taking this one because this course is mostly about Mark's technique and how to achieve that style that he has. Uh, not he, he doesn't dedicate a lot into like going in through the software and how to use the software. So this isn't this kind of course. This is more of like what's the technique he uses. He does explain it pretty well. He goes through uh, 
goes through everything step by step pretty nicely and and i really like that part but he doesn't go through the software so if you are a complete beginner this isn't the course for you you'll need to know how to use zbrush you'll need to know how to use uh 3d modeling package you'll need to use how to use substance and you'll need to know how i'm sorry you need to know how to use substance and you'll need to know how to use photoshop definitely because this is a huge part of the course now while like i said he does <clears throat> like i said he does explain things really well there are time lapses so for a majority of the sculpting phasing so for a majority of the sculpt phase um, there's a lot of time lapses uh, back then when i was starting up it kind of bothered me because i couldn't see exactly what he's doing well his time lapses are much better than others he doesn't go so fast i think he just uses the he just speeds up the video two times he doesn't go over too fast still if you are a complete beginner it'll be kind of hard to see what he's doing so that's why i recommend that you already have some knowledge on how to use zbrush so you don't have to rely on the time lapses as much uh that that's that's one of the things that i got this tutorial when i was uh like too novice if you want to say it like that but if you've already mastered zbrush you're going to find that this course is is very easy to follow Another good highlight about this course is that he does create this character from scratch. So you'll see him create the base model, like the base male model. He goes through the hair, which is, it's, it's something that I really struggle with, is doing the hair for characters. He goes through how to do the hair. He goes through how to do the clothing, what kind of folds you're going to put in. He, he really goes through it and does everything from scratch. So if you really want to know how to get there, with this specific techniques then uh, i would really recommend this course all right that's all for this episode if you like this videos please let me know in the comment section below also if there are any courses that are you that you're thinking about buying but you're not sure uh, also let me know because i may have taken a look at it and if this series gets popular then i may just start buying courses just to review them I've purchased a lot of courses over the time, like over uh, the three years that I spent in school. So I, I do have a lot of material for that. And I honestly, I keep buying courses just so, because I want to get better. So if you have any particular course you want to know, just uh, leave it on the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next video.